welcome back with another video. All right, so we're in the same month, it's September, and this month we are talking about who has a plan for you. All right, so do you guys remember who has a plan for you? Yes, God has a plan for you. God has a plan for you and for me. All right, and just like God, how he has a plan for you, I have a plan for us today. All right, so today I have a bucket of movements here that we are going to do. I'm going to choose a movement for us to do, take it out, and whatever we, whatever it says, we're going to do it together. So you might want to stand up and you're going to follow me. All right, so when I tell you to do a specific movement, um, you're going to do it for about five seconds, and then I'm going to say freeze. And you're going to freeze right where you are. And then I'm, I'm going to choose another one, okay? All right, so let's get to it. Here we go. Hmm, not looking, not looking. All right, so twisting. We have to twist for about five to ten seconds, okay? Here we go. Twisting. Ready? Go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Twist, 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 twist. And freeze. Good job, guys. All right. Let's choose another one. Oh, I got two. Spinning. Now, this is a little bit different. Instead of just going like this, you're going to take your whole body and go all the way around, okay? All right. Here we go. Ready? Spin. Ooh, all the way around. All the way around. Stop. Freeze. Good job, guys. All right, let's do another one. Hmm, not looking, not looking. Clapping. All right, you guys, we have to clap for about five seconds, okay? Here we go. Ready? And just like I had a plan for all of us, God has a plan just for you. He, and he will reveal to you and tell you the plan as you grow and learn more about him. All right? I'll see you guys later. Bye. He's got a, he's got a, he's got a plan. He's got a, he's got a, yes he do. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me That's what I know, oh, that's what I know That's what I know, oh, that's what I know Let's go! I know that I can trust him yeah. I know that I can trust him yeah. No matter what the season yeah. His plans are for a reason yeah. I know they are good I know they are bad He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. And when I'm feeling so sad, hey, when I am afraid. Plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. He's 
got a plan for me. He's got a plan for me. He's got a really, really, really awesome plan for me. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. That's what I know. Oh, that's what I know. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you at the Wonder Clubhouse. We miss you. Well, hello there, yummy ice cream. Oh, and hello there to you too. Welcome to the clubhouse. It's me, Manny, and I'm so happy you're here today. I told Kai I would help him with the ice cream sundae party plan. One of my jobs for the party is to be an ice cream scooper. So I thought I better start practice scooping. I have this big tub of yummy vanilla ice cream to use for practicing. Oh, and this big spoon. Let's scoop. Man, this is harder than I thought. This ice cream is really hard, and this spoon isn't working. Do you see something else I could use? The ice cream scoop? Great idea! Here we go, let's scoop. Wow, this ice cream is really, really hard. And this scoop isn't working either. I know what I can try. I can use this shovel. Surely it'll scoop this hard ice cream. Oh, not even the shovel can scoop this hard ice cream. I might have to wait for it to soften up a bit, but I want to practice scooping now. Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Manny. Ho, ho. Having some trouble, are you? Hi, Ollie. I sure am. I told Kai I would help him with the ice cream sundae party plans by scooping the ice cream. But the ice cream is much too hard to scoop. I've tried everything. That does sound hard. It's true. I have a story about someone else with a hard thing to do. Just listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Follow me through. Who? I've got a Bible story for me and you. Okay, Stormy Jane, you can come out of your doghouse now. I know it was hard to wait in there, but the rain has stopped and you can come out and play. Good girl. Oh, hi friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. I have a great story for you about someone who did something very hard. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is Joseph. Joseph trusted God's plan. Joseph worked at a big palace in Egypt for a man named Potiphar. Stormy Jane, you're not Potiphar. Get out of the story, silly dog. That's better. While Joseph worked at the palace, he tried to do a good job. If Potiphar told him to get food, Joseph got him food. If Potiphar said the floors needed sweeping, Joseph swept. Joseph did whatever Potiphar told him to do, and Joseph trusted God's plan for him. Then one day, somebody said Joseph did something very wrong. Everyone say, oh no, oh no. But Joseph didn't do it. Joseph was sent to jail anyway. Oh, that would be very hard. Joseph didn't do anything wrong, but he was put in jail. Now at this point in the story, we might wonder if God really had a plan because this was so hard for Joseph. But Joseph knew God loved him and Joseph knew God was always with him. And so even though things were hard, Joseph trusted God's plan. Do you want to hear what Joseph did even though it was hard? Well, while he was in jail, Joseph helped the other people in there. 
The guards saw him doing such a good job, they even put him in charge. Joseph trusted God's plan, and God's plan for Joseph isn't done yet. There's a lot more of Joseph's story to tell. I love this story because it teaches us that we can trust God even when things are hard. Because God loves us, God's with us, and God's got a plan for us. Oh, hey, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who has a plan for you? God has a plan for me. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. See you next time. Bye. So there's your story. It's all true. Joseph was in a hard place, but he trusted God's plan to see him through. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, what a great story. Joseph was having a hard time, but he knew he could trust God's plan. Joseph knew that God loved him and was always with him. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did say got it, get it? Got it! Good! You know what? This ice cream is still too hard to scoop, but I can be a helper while I wait and put up the rest of these decorations. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Jeremiah 29, 11.